that keeps them from sitting on the interstate for hours at a dead stop to actually moving to their destinations. Hi, my name is Jeff Grigg. I'm a senior traffic study specialist with Central District Traffic and I work out of the Rolla Maintenance Shed. So incident bypass timing is timing we use in signals to move traffic around a crash, in this specific instance on 44 during uh, construction to get traffic off the interstate instead of having it sit there for hours to get it up and move around the uh, outer roads. The specific uh, project is between Rolla and St. James on I-44. We uh, rebuilt the interstate from the ground up over there, so we were running uh, a single lane plus a three lane on the other, on the westbound side. And we ran traffic on the south outer road using two different interchanges to take traffic off the interstate and then another one to put it back on. You don't even have to go out to the controller. Uh, I can log on from my computer into a controller which is inside of our signals. It controls the signals on whether it goes yellow, green, red. And so with that, I can go in and change the timing plan to, a, I think we put it as 21 for if we had a crash on the eastbound side between point A and B. And then it would change five signals to run 21, which would then, with Highway Patrol's help, we'd pull them off and send them down the new route. And the signals were pre-timed to let that traffic flow more efficiently. It was kind of a joint task force between MoDOT maintenance, MoDOT construction, MoDOT traffic, and uh, Highway Patrol. Um, we all got together, had a meeting, sat down, figured out where we wanted to put them uh, based on four different crash locations that we saw possibilities for. Um, and then from there, I developed the timing based on traffic flows and kind of where and what we wanted them to be doing. Our signal technicians uh, were a huge help in actually figuring out what program we could use in the controller. Um, without them, I don't think this would have been nearly as efficient as it was. I would have had to log into each one remotely versus just being able to log into a single one and make one change and have it ha take effect. The biggest takeaway for this was for us using the new technologies and digging around in what new things we could do with connectivity to actually make it a lot simpler and get it done faster for the traveling public. It keeps them from sitting on the interstate for hours at a dead stop to actually moving to their destinations. In the past, we would have had to go out in a state car to each signal, which meant I would have been stuck in that traffic and potentially putting an employee in danger and increasing the time that it took to get the traveling public moving. So by doing this, we can get them off safely with the help of Highway Patrol and then get them efficiently to where they want to go through the signal timing plans. Transportation systems management and operations, uh, we often call TISMO, is really an effort to make the transportation system that we have in place today work the best that it possibly can. Well, I'm Michelle Watkins. I'm district engineer in MoDOT Central District. So doing the pre-planning to identify detour routes and to create the signal timing changes that would go with them puts us in a position to move quickly when a traffic incident occurs. So we can quickly notify the public to take the detour route. We can quickly make the timing changes that are needed to accommodate the additional travel and the unusual turning movements there. Uh, and some of the benefits really associated with it is that drivers are less likely to encounter a stopped vehicle on a highway or an intersection or in, in the interstate. Um, it also keeps traffic flowing more quickly we have technologies available where those changes can be done remotely and it doesn't require our workers to be in a work zone to make that happen. Our customers expect a transportation system that's safe and that is reliable and um, TISMO is an integral part of delivering on that expectation.